Hello everyone and welcome to my home. I am glad that you have stopped by to join me today. I am sharing my recent home decor thrift finds with you. I'm going to be giving you some styling ideas and I have a couple of surprises for you. So you'll have to let me know if I found a real treasure for a deal or if I'm getting overly excited for nothing. So stick around for that, but let's get on into this thrift haul and see what all I found. So if you have been around for any of my previous thrift hauls for home decor, you know that I love brass candlesticks. I mix and match them. I love to style them around my home. I got this one from an estate sale for $4. It's really pretty. I haven't polished it up or even dusted it off yet, so that's going to be beautiful to use in and around my home all year long. My love of brass extends to this $2 picture frame holder. It is a really good size. It's hinged, so you can store it very easily when not in use. I can use this to set my picture frames up on tabletops and display them that way, or books. Again, I haven't polished this up, but it is pretty just like it is. I also love to thrift books, and I found this 1958 Better Homes and Gardens salad book. It is a stunning, beautiful yellow color. I want to style with it to this spring and summer. It has those good old classic recipes in it, and I believe this book was only a dollar from an estate sale. Another book I found was this green cover book. It was 50 cents. Look how beautiful that is on the inside. It's Ever After Book 3. Somebody had written in that, but I mostly got it because of this green cover, and I like the worn, aged pages on this book. was $3.50 from an estate sale and it has not been polished or dusted or anything yet. It has got a wonderful patina on it. Just a really pretty little tray. You could hang this on the wall and it would be pretty like that too. But I just love little pieces like this that you can decorate with in and around your home to add that unique curated flair that you don't get from big box store purchases. Another tray, because I do love trays, I have a good collection of them that I keep in my home decor stash. This has not been polished either. It is needing a little silver polish, but it is this gorgeous tray. It has this filigree around the edge. You can see the detailing on there. And just a beautiful piece to layer on your tables, on your counters to create your vignettes in when you are styling your home decor. A little bit of silver polish and this will shine up and look good. I don't mind a little bit of that patina either and sometimes it looks lovely that way. It depends on what you're going for in your home on how you choose to uh, polish or not polish that silver and brass. There is a little marking on here. I don't know if I can pick it up on camera and I cannot see it, but it looks like a silver plate mark. I will see if I can find that and enhance it for you here and show you on the screen. 
Okay, here is one of the treasures that I think I found. Now, the mark on the bottom does not look exactly like what I found here on the listing I found for it, but I think this is a Lillian Vernon bamboo clutch purse. And I did not know this until I got home and looked it up because it was so unique. I thought it was just a decor piece, but I think it's actually that little purse. It has this little clasp on here that matches the uh, Lillian Vernon that I found. You open it up and it's got the caning for the bamboo. The hinges on it are just stunning. It's got the beat, the little metal beading in there. Just a really fabulous piece. On the bottom here, it says that it was made in the People's Republic of China. So that's what's different than the one that says Lillian Vernon. But when you match up all of the details, like the clasp and the hinges, the dimensions, the bamboo caning and weaving of that, it's identical. So I, um, and this is where I want y'all's expertise out there. If I did find a rare Lillian Vernon bamboo clutch, but I got this for $2 at a warehouse sale. There was um, a lady I know that was running this warehouse sale of um leftover estate sale fine type stuff. Super excited. I'm going to use it to decorate with, but let me know what you think. Is this a good treasure or am I delusional? When I Google image search this swan planter, it also comes up as a rare find. This was $3.50 from an estate sale. I have cleaned it up. It had quite a bit of uh, hard water markings on the inside, but that cleaned up and there's a little scuffing on the bottom, but isn't it precious? I think you could use this as a pen holder. You could put a little plant in this. You could use this for makeup brushes on your bathroom counter. Just so many lovely things. It's so precious even just sitting on a shelf or a stack of books like this. So cute little find. And again, like I said, when I Google searched it and pulled up things that were similar, this exact one showed up and it said it was a rare vintage find. So I'm so excited about that. Again, I don't resell, I don't sell things. But I love when I get a good deal on something and then find out that it is like a treasure. So again, let me know, is this really a good treasure or am I delusional? I think it's lovely, even if it was from the dollar store, I wouldn't care because it's gonna be so pretty styled in my home. This little teacup and saucer is so cute. It is hand painted. You can see here on the bottom the markings of that. It is so dainty. It is so cute. It's going to look precious in my china hutch. I'm going to just set it up there and display it. It has this golden copper color on the inside of the teacup and then on the edge of the little saucer. So very pretty flowers. It's got a lot of color, very vibrant. And this was $5 from an estate sale. I love this piece right here. It is a Japanese style vase. It has a sterling silver top on it. It needs a good polish. It definitely can shine up. You can tell from the inside that the tarnish when it's gone will be absolutely gorgeous. It was marked $10 at the estate sale, but I was there on the last day, which was half price day. So I acquired this beautiful jar for only $5. There is no marking on the bottom, and it does have this little chip out of it, but the way it is glazed on the bottom, I feel like that might have happened when it was being fired and when it was originally made. 
you don't really see it when it is sitting on a surface so it doesn't detract from the beauty but i love those burnt orangish red color and blue going to be fabulous i can see this styled as a vase with florals too a really great piece for fall for sure but i will use it all year long Okay, drum roll. Did I find a real McCoy pottery bowl or is this a replica? <laughs> I think this is the real McCoy. <laughs> and the ladies that I bought this from, it even said they put antique bowl in vegetables that came with these really you know, plastic cheesy vegetables. I'm gonna keep these and maybe DIY them. You never know what you can do with them. I made over some fruit and it was one of my most favorite uh, DIY projects. I will link that video for you. When I image search this, it comes up as a McCoy Starburst mixing bowl and they don't have markings always, so I'm not concerned about that, but I wish it did because then I would know for sure. But I bought it because of the color and the pattern, and it was later when I got home that I realized, I think I have a really good treasure, and I only paid $7 for it. And that was with the vegetables, so um, we'll just take, go ahead and take that off there. What do y'all think? Is this McCoy? If you collect it, let me know. It's in pristine condition. It's got that natural pottery edge to it. That beautiful starburst on the bottom. You can see the detailings. I'm so excited. Whether this is real or not, I was excited to get it. But to find out that I actually might have got my first McCoy piece I'm super excited because this will go with the aesthetic in my home. It goes with the blue and white. You can mix them absolutely and it's stunning and gorgeous. I can't wait to get y'all's opinions. Let me know. Educate me on all things McCoy. I am going to go down a rabbit hole because now I want to learn everything I can about original McCoy pieces. I am so glad you joined me today. I hope you enjoy this home decor, thrift haul in style. And I hope you give me your feedback on these little treasures because I really am curious about stuff like this. And I know that y'all know so much more and I can't wait to learn from y'all. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And I invite you to subscribe, ring that bell, and come back for the next video. You never know what I'm going to get into here on my channel. I just bring you along for all of the fun adventures around my home. Until I see you in that next video, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.